Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I look like this because A, it's way too hot to look anywhere else. But that's, that's why the hair is doing this thing. Bangs are also quite grown out, so we're doing this right now. However, it's too warm. If you, if you live in England, you have been dying with us. I was gonna film a different video, but I slept through this whole day and yesterday when I planned to do this video, I got busy and it was too warm. So basically I'm finding excuses, but it doesn't matter. We're here now. And I just decided to do an updated everyday makeup routine because I haven't done that in a hot sec. I haven't done that since April 2018. So I thought July 2019 is a good time to update you guys on what makeup I've been using, what I've been loving. Hey guys, so I've already introduced you, so I'm just gonna get in with it. I just moisturized my face. I use the Garnier Organic Soothing Lavender Anti-Aging Day Cream. And if you think it's the day, you're wrong. It's six o'clock, but I've had a massive headache today, all day. And my original plan was to film this video yesterday, which I mostly did, but then I had to go to my driving lesson and it was all messed, so I was like, I'll just refilm it. But I was gonna film another video today, but I've been dying. So that's what we're living with. Do you excuse my hair, my bangs are a bit long. They're looking all right today though. They looked worse yesterday. But um, I usually start with primer. Let me just get out my um, magic makeup books from under my bed here because I have a real small room. So I've wet my beauty blender. Typically I start with a primer. I've been using two primers and those are the only ones I really own. But at the moment, I've been using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Glow Primer, which if you watch, oh my nails are gone. If you watch Emma Rectangle's channel, this is allegedly a very good dupe for the By Terry Primer. And I've used a ton of it, look at it. There's literally barely anything left on there. I typically just put a couple of pumps in my hands and just smear it gives you a nice glow it also like gives you some color because it's obviously orange so i would make sure that you've blended it properly so i'm looking at my viewfinder lately i've been starting off with using a concealer before i do foundation and then doing that again so i'm gonna go in with the so i'm gonna go in with the instant age rewind eraser this is in the shade neutralizer because any other shade just does not match with me that's my beef with Maybelline products, well, face products anyways. They just don't match me. This one's a perfect match, and I like it. Well, I thought this is me tan, but I still look insanely pale. <laughs> Great, we love that for us. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation. I've been using a few different foundations um, at the moment, so, my two favourite foundations on everyday bases are typically the Bourjois Healthy Mix in the shade 51 Light Vanilla or the L'Oreal True Match in the shade 2D slash 2W Golden Almond. But these are slightly too light for me. I'm pretty sure I used this one for my graduation and I looked pale as hell compared to my whole other family. So we're gonna put those aside and today we're gonna go into the Stila Stay All Day foundation which is amazing and I bought this on a whim last year and I never used it because it was too dark but now that I've got a tan it's a really good shade match for me and it, it genuinely just gives you the most beautiful finish on the skin and it wears really well throughout the day as well which is very surprising because I can never find foundations that wear well throughout the day. I also really love this foundation because it's very buildable but I've never had a look cakey on me. It's just really nice. Not too heavy but it has decent coverage and I think in stores it's about £31. Well in stores and on Beauty Bay it's about £31 something like that. I'm basically doing a full coverage look which is something I don't usually do but sometimes I ever do it and today is that day. It matches small one I? Yeah. Right. Foundation put aside. And next I'm gonna go back in with the Edge Rewind by Maybelline. I don't know why I'm doing my forehead. I think it's because it's out. Normally I don't. 
because I don't see it anyways. And then I go in with, if I can find it, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 05, which is not my shade, but I'm trying to use it up. It's just a bit too salmon-y for me. And I'm not into it, but I bought it once because I needed it because I ended up going to the theatre and I didn't want to look like shit. And I've been using it ever since and that was in like November last year. So we're just going to use it up and not repurchase it unless we can find the right colour. But it is a nice formula. I enjoy it. I have very dark circles, at least in my eyes, so I enjoy covering them up quite a bit. Amazing. So that's the face done. Typically after that I go in with uh, one of the two things just to give myself a little bit of a better glow. I recently found this again and so I used to use this a lot but I couldn't find it but I'm going to use it today which is the liquid, liquid, the liquid cream highlighter drops by Barry M. But I as a replacement which is slightly more subtle I've been using the Super Shock Cheek go, uh, highlighter in the shade guilty pleasure which i have hit pan on and i thought it was a powder highlight when i first got it but it turns out it's cream so i've been using it like that but i'm gonna use my drops because they're so pretty and i'm gonna do that before i powder my face because that's probably better for it and i ended too much is anyone surprised no the reason i'm actually doing my makeup right now because normally i just wouldn't bother it's because I need to film a part of my graduation video, which you've already probably seen. But I need to film that, so we're going to do that. Um, next thing I do is powder. And I've been using two types of powder. Either the L'Oreal True Match. Thank you. In the shade. I had the shade. Oh. 2R slash 2C, which is uh, rose vanilla. All the recent purchase that I've made is the Airspan Loose Folder. What? What, what were the words that just came out of my mouth? The Airspun Loose Face Powder, which this thing I'm gonna use today, but this thing smells like I, like what I imagine old school makeup would smell like, as in like baby powder basically. No, it just has like makeup smell to me. And if you don't like scented stuff, then I definitely would not recommend that for you because that shit is scented heavily scented and if you're not into that um then you won't be into this powder all right so moving on we're gonna go and do eyes everyday eyes i do are very simple i'm gonna be using what i already have in my hand which is my urban decay ball around palette which is my baby and i need to double check if this shit was in limited edition because if it was i'm gonna cry because i'm already almost hitting pan in one of the shades. Oh, it's getting there. And I love this palette. I think it's so versatile. The only other palette I've hit pan on in four shades. Bear in mind, I don't hit pan on shit when it comes to eyeshadow. Was the Modern Renaissance one. And I definitely need to rebuy that one because I love that palette. And I haven't been using it near enough because I don't have any shimmers in it anymore. But I love this palette. So normally on an everyday basis and Excuse my dirty brushes, they are dirty. However, as Jamie Genevieve said in her videos, you know, clean brushes just hit differently and they just do not hit the spot. And I agree. I, for one, agree. I'm going to go into the shade Riff, which is this nice brown orange color. Tuck off the excess and then just go into my. I don't know crease crease and outer corner i believe yes the one thing i hate about not having a chair in this room is that my back kills when i film should i zoom you guys in for this would you like to be zoomed in hi how are you we're gonna keep it like that you're gonna see my ugly ass blending because it is ugly ass blending it's not nice i ain't good at it looking real patchy on camera it's looking all right in real life I'm not a makeup artist, I know I reiterate that in every single video I do my makeup in, but I'm an everyday bitch. This is just for me, okay? I feel like I made this way more winged out than that one. We're gonna live with it, you know? This is an everyday makeup look and we're doing eyeliner anyway. 
So for, for my lid part, I'm gonna spray my fluffy flat brush with the L'Oreal Shake and Glow. And I'm gonna take the shade Stranded, which is this really nice one. And I'm gonna put that on my brush. Nope, that is the website, I was right. And that just makes it really nice. Love doing that. And that was a bit of my And then I'm gonna take the fluffy brush I used and I'm gonna blend it in together a little bit, especially this side because that. And do you know what? I dig it. We're gonna do my eyeliner now. Should I keep you guys so zoomed in for that? Sure, we're here now. We're all friends, it doesn't matter. For my eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the uh, Revolution Makeup, um, Makeup Revolution, even a Renaissance Flick, which is an eyeliner I bought as a replacement of my NYX ink one because that one A the brush tip goes sparse as hell and it tickles my eyes and I can't do it and B it starts bleeding when it gets old and it's really bizarre but this one has been holding up really really well and it doesn't smudge if it comes off it just comes off it j it doesn't smudge it's which is nice because then I can fix it without it being messy and it's only five pounds which is a bonus, you know, and I just got it. I love the packaging, it's beautiful. However, I always get eyeliner on my finger when I open it. Take from it what you will. That will do. That's decent. Do you know what? They're good enough, and I'm pretty sure this one is thicker than that one do you know what i'm not gonna play with it anymore i'm not gonna play that game and i'm not gonna ruin it we're just gonna live with it the sisters not twins the wings are sisters not twins for lashes i'm gonna just use mascara i don't wear false lashes on everyday basis because it's effort and i don't have that in me and i'm gonna use the l'oreal paradise ecstatic and i'm gonna curl my lashes first That was way too close for comfort and my leg is dying. Well, this, A, the eyes appear way more orange on camera than they do in real life. And B, I look so much tanner than I do in real life, I think. Or maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, I'm enjoying it though. I'm enjoying the tan. And can you tell, I'm wearing a Leo shirt unintentionally, but bitches, Leo season is upon us. And I'm ready for it. I am ready for it. It is my time to be a chaotic Leo and you can't stop me. Anyways, after all these threats, let's continue. We are gonna go in with a bronzer. There we go. I always, 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 and if you followed me for a little bit, you will notice. I always use the contour shade from NYX in the shade Coffee Caramel. I just buy this one. I don't need the whole palette. I don't need the whole palette. Like, I just need this one. So I'm gonna take this on this brush. You know, we gotta contour that chubby face. It doesn't appear as chubby as it is. Then again, there's only so much you can do. And then I think I'm gonna go in with my uh, Bourjois bronzing powder, the chocolate bronzer. I have this one. I don't think it's that good, but I'm trying to get rid of it. So I'm just gonna... Sometimes I go in with my Airspun powder and I like contour down here. But I'm kind of enjoying the really bronze diffused look right now i'm gonna go in with a blush and i have been using the hell out of i have been using the hell out of my natural collection blush in the shade pink cloud these bitches are 1.99 or around that around two pounds when i say they are beautifully pigmented you can't even see it here but they are beautifully pigmented you don't need much of it and they have a really nice color range i know for my skin tones i'm not sure about the whole range but i just think they're so good and so affordable i mean why would i want to spend ten thousand pounds on a blush i'm not spending on blush i'd rather spend that on a good foundation 
and you can see it just gives you like a really nice wash of color well i really made myself look way bronzy than i usually am and you know what we're here for it girl we're here for it brilliant brilliant we can go back in here one more skin step we're gonna do is add highlighter typically i use the revolution pro supreme highlighter in the shade ice these bitches are six pounds and when i say i have never seen shine like that i have never seen shine like that they are just beautiful and uh-huh i will be repurchasing you know i will be repurchasing however i found my darker shades in these ones yesterday so i will be using that today and let me take it on a smaller brush this a pencil brush and i'm gonna take the middle shade this is the highlighter in the shade metal take that put that in my inner corner oh yeah that's a nice color for that eye oh yes this is just the perfect bronzy shade for this shit yes we have this then i'm gonna use my very bent pro techniques brush it's a setting brush i use it for highlighter and i'm gonna use that on my cheeks also the middle shade yes that is the perfect shade for my tan right now Oh yes, yes. I love me a highlight, especially one like this. I love them so much. They are six pounds each, guys, for a trio. And while I maybe don't use the other two, it's worth it just for that middle one. Or if you have friends and family with darker skin tones, you can do their makeup and it will look amazing. I'm now going to set my makeup with this Shake and Glow, which I much prefer to do in Palliable One, because if you remember my powder face, we shake it, we shake it. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna do my lips. Pro tips, guys, don't sleep with the window open. Don't bathe in cold water, even if you're melting you will get a cold the next day like i did today i'm using a um what i'm assuming is an nua lip liner actually no this is from hema i don't want it to be too full like fully pigmented because i'm gonna go with a um lip gloss my friends and family always like to laugh at me and tell me i love a red lip and i don't see what's so funny about it because it's true. And I'm gonna go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Cherry Pie. This is my finished look. This is my everyday makeup. I switch up the lipstick sometimes and sometimes I switch up my eyeshadow to the e.l.f. The New Classics, which is another thing. This and the Renaissance Flick are a recommendation of Jam Beauty 89, aka Jessica Braun, aka someone who will never know I exist, but I adore so much amazing youtuber i'll link her channel down below because i'm all about promoting my face amazing palette and it's only 14 bucks in target i think i'm not sure if you can buy it anywhere else that's where i got mine from but thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in my next video if you like this one do give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more from me do subscribe down below i make videos sometimes <laughs> I'm not exactly consistent, I don't have a schedule, but I make videos when I feel like it. So if you'd like to see more from me, do subscribe down below and join our family. We don't have a name, but maybe one day we will. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.